Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. I am the Unfrumpy Mommy and today I wanted to come here to share my craft quickie. Today's quick craft idea is going to be just a little bit different. I was asked by Tamala over at Holt on Design and I'll leave all of her information below. Um, Tamala asked if I would like to participate in this Home Depot DIY challenge slash collaboration and if you guys have ever seen HGTV's Design Star it's gonna be kinda like that. So the challenge would include myself, Tamala, and all these fabulous ladies right over here and I'll leave all of their information in the information box as well. So for the challenge we had to make a simple DIY project all of our materials had to come from Home Depot and our budget was $10. We could not go beyond the $10. We also had to stick to four departments. We could only get our items from either tile, gardening, wooden lumber, and plumbing. So let's head to Home Depot to see what I chose for my first collaboration. for this Home Depot challenge, so let's go inside and get inspired. Okay guys, I think I found my inspiration. It's going to be these stone pavers. So if you take a look here, you can use these pavers to create a pad, or you can create an entire patio. However, that is not what we're going to do with them for my Home Depot challenge, but you have to stay tuned to the end of the video to see exactly what we do with them. I looked through all four departments, but I ultimately decided on the garden center uh, if you were to ask me what my favorite thing to do was, only second to traveling would be gardening. For my Home Depot DIY challenge slash collaboration, I will be making a planter using patio pavers. And on a scale of one to five, five being the most difficult, one being the easiest, uh, I would rate this project at about a strong two. So let's get started. The cost for the pavers was $1.45 and I purchased five of them. That brought me just under my budget of $10. The other materials required for the project I had on hand already. Well, my husband had a couple of them on hand and he doesn't mind sharing so I used his construction adhesive and his caulk gun. Now to jazz up my planter a little bit, I decided to give all of my pavers a coat of paint. So with some of the paint that our builder left in our basement, our house is new construction and you know that when they have materials left over, they will um, most of the times leave them for you um, in your basement or in your garage. So I painted the pavers and I allowed them to dry overnight. After the pavers were dry, I stood the pavers up to form a perfect square or what I hoped would be a perfect square. And as you can see there, um, the sides kind of overlap and it's very important that they overlap. So once the square um, is to my liking, I apply the construction adhesive. Um, and the adhesive is applied to all the corners. 
and as you can see there I'm firmly pressing the pavers together that's very important as well so now that my little perfect square is all secure uh, I, uh, I prepare to attach the bottom and what you want to do right here is squirt the construction adhesive in ball or bead like patterns around the inner and it's very important that you put that on the inner lip of the entire planter and for you gardeners out there who may be wondering how is the plant going to drain what is it going to do with all of that water it's going to get root rot <laughs> no worries the spaces in between the beads of the adhesive will help with the water drainage so no worries there i paint over the um, extra adhesive there to kind of tidy it up a bit and i just allow it to dry This step is optional. I added a few uh, felt pads at the bottom of my planter. These were free as well. These were actually left by our movers. You put these on the bottom of your furniture so that you don't scratch up your hardwoods. So I decided to apply, apply them to the bottom of the planter just in case I decided to move it around on the deck. It wouldn't, you know, scratch it up. So, but that's optional. I just love, 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 love how the planter turned out. I put in some plants that I had um, already out on the deck, placed some extra ones in there, and it just looks so good. And I just cannot wait for the spring. I think I'll make maybe three or four more for the spring. So loved this project. this video it was my first collaboration and I really had a great time doing it and so until next time ladies don't be a problem